Hi, uh, my name is uh, Yannick Dentis. I am a, a family nurse practitioner, live in West Palm Beach, uh, Florida. So the next video will be focusing on pre-diabetes, okay, pre-diabetic. So, and again, I'm going to um, teach. This is a teaching session, okay, about advanced health ed education. So, uh, this video is only for a, a educational purpose only. Uh, it's not intent to give advice, to treat, or to... Um, uh, so if you if you have a condition like if you think you have a high blood sugar or diabetes contact your primary care provider who can be your physician your md your do your nurse practitioner or your physician assistant for medical advice um we're going to start with a passage um in the bible talking about healing if we go to um, acts 14 verses 8 and 9 state that and in lystra a certain man without strength in his feet so this is you know um his health is affected uh, without strength in his feet, was sitting. A cripple from his mother's womb, who had never walked. This man heard Paul speaking. Paul, observing him intently and seeing that he had faith to be healed. So I'm saying all that to tell you that uh, God is the uh, physician, who is the one who gave the healthcare professional uh, knowledge so we always have to acknowledge him okay so let's go to the subject to the topic what is pre-diabetes as we see pre mean before right so pre-diabetic is a condition before you become diabetic you're not diabetic yet but if you if you don't take um, some measures, you will become one. So what is pre-diabetes? According to um, American Diabetes uh, Association, they state that pre-diabetes, pre -diabetes, uh, if your blood sugar or your blood glucose level is higher than normal, but not high enough to be classified as diabetes, then you have pre-diabetes. Pre-diabetes is also referred to as impaired fasting glucose or impaired glucose to a to the rents. It used to be called, uh, before we used to call that condition borderline diabetes so um in the united states um uh, the american diabetes uh, association they said that one in three people has that condition so which represent like 33 percent and they have it and they don't even know if they have that condition that's the danger. So they always said, you know, but, but I feel fine. Um, some people with pre-diabetes have no symptom, or they have some of the symptoms of diabetes. Regardless, you can have pre-diabetes and diabetes for years and not know it. So... Um, what impact, so when, when you have that condition, the pre-diabetic condition, that will, impact your body, that, that will impact your body. Because you have it, you may have it for, for um, 
uh, many years and you, you, you don't even know that. So that's why that will affect your body. So the pre-diabetic can lead to what? It can lead to stroke. It can affect your eyes. It can affect your heart. And you can become type 2 diabetic. So high blood sugar can silently wreak havoc on your body over time and cause harm to your, to your eyes, to your kidneys, and to your nerves. So the high blood sugar in your body, that's why you have to have, it can affect all those systems. Okay, so let's go for symptom of diabetic. Symptom of diabetic are frequent urination, uh, feeling very thirsty because your blood sugar is high, so you're thirsty. Feeling very hungry even while eating. Blurred vision because it's, it's started to affect your, your eyes. Extreme fatigue. Cuts or bruises that are slow to heal. And especially your, your feet. You have to be careful. You have to take an extra care. You have to extra care with, with your feet because the circulation is very poor there. And when you have diabetic, that, um, it's kind of hard to heal that. And you're going to feel some uh, tingling, pain, or numbness in your hands and your feet. So what can we do? What can, what can we do about it? What can you do? So uh, treating pre-diabetes and delaying or preventing diabetes is all about con controlling your blood sugar. So it's good you control your blood sugar. And I'm going to tell you how you can do that. Um, you can do this also by eating a, a, healthful, a healthful diet and not skipping meals. You can do that by exercising moderately for at least 30 minutes, five days per week. And also, according to American uh, Diabetes uh, American Diabetes Association, said that losing just five to ten percent of your body weight can um, can help you also control your blood sugar. And um, also, it's good you check to your doctor, to your provider regularly about your blood sugar. It's, this, is, this is a must. And also there's a lab work called hemoglobin A1C. That lab work um, measure your blood sugar over, for over months, like two to three months. Usually they said three, three months. So even though you're fasting, I mean, you don't need to be fasting because... Uh, by eating food, those, those, those will not affect the uh, hemoglobin A1C. And it's good if you become diabetic, it's good you check um, that blood sugar, you check it every three months. So what can you do about, uh, about pre-diabetic? Is eat, he eat healthier, trying to lose weight. Like um, trying to lose like five to ten uh, percent of your body weight, and um, sorry, and then you have to exercise, 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 exercise. This is the most. You know what kind of exercise you you can do. Swimming, walking, um, you know, you go to the gym if you want. It's, you know, whatever you like, but you have to keep moving. At least, they said, at least uh, uh, 30, uh, 30 minutes, five days a week. And 
and again check your blood sugar on a regular basis also um, prevention prevention uh, si uh, si <coughs> sorry scientific st uh, studies show that onions and garlic can help lower your blood sugar so the you know this is not that your stuff so when then you're cooking you know use fresh garlic fresh onions so that will um help your blood sugar to uh level off okay so um So by trying to by trying to act on your pre-diabetic, that will help you slow down your condition. Because if you if you really I mean if you don't do if you don't you know if you don't um, if you're not serious about your diet, you know you don't eat healthy. You know you eat fruits, more fruits, more veggies. And if you if you overweight, try to lose some, try to lose weight. And 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 exercise. So that will help you because once you have that, once you sorry, once you have the diabetic, then then this is an, another. Uh, phase so now you're going to start taking med medication and everything so to prevent that then to prevent um, to become diabetic so we really have to 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 work on the prevention the prevention prevention this is the key because once the diabetic type 2 install then then you're going to have more um, difficulty to control it and then um, you're going to have um, the um, you're going to have to um, test your blood sugar and I don't think that's something really people want to do so try to Try to do the right thing. Try to um, go to your provider and let him check your blood sugar. And this way we can be fine. So on that, I'm going to um, wish you the best of health. And we, we will meet, we will talk about the next video pretty soon bye bye thank you and don't forget to um so i thank you for watching this video or listening and also please do not forget to like it and subscribe it thank you and next time